Welcome to Focus Garage. Today I'm going to show you guys the second part of the ethanol gauge video. There's three parts. We did the first part. I will have it have the link in the description. I will also have the part list in the description and some of them might have where you links where you can buy them. But you should still search for it yourself. Try to find it cheapest, not just because I have it there doesn't mean it's the cheapest. There are technically three wiring diagram, one for the LCD, one for the OLED, and then the other one for the Bluetooth. I'm not showing you guys the Bluetooth one because I'm not going to do it and you have to be tech savvy enough to come up with a Bluetooth application on your phone to be able to use that. So I will still have it in the description with a link where you can find it, but I'm not going to show you guys. So let's start with the most uh, easy one, which is the LCD output. So we're going to start with the ethanol sensor and then work our way into how it's connected to Arduino and then work our way to LCD, how Arduino is connecting, uh, communicating with uh, LCD. So my handwriting is not the best, but just bear with me. I will explain them component by component so you can understand and um, you can also here's your moment to pause so you can see the everything yep there you go so let's start with the ethanol sensor you have the ethanol sensor which is this guy right here if you did not watch my first video where I'm talking about the components so I'll just go over again and you have three wires which is the pigtail right here that I'm using Three different color wires one goes to ground one goes to positive and then one goes to signal and it splits into two one has a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor right here and then the other one just goes into the d8 and then the uh, resistor goes to the 5 volt so if you look at the arduino over here you would see on the left side right here you see the D8 and then on the I'm sorry left side corner yeah and then the right side bottom corner you'll see that 5 volt right there those are your uh, uh, those are the places that the wires are gonna go for the ethanol sensor and for the Arduino you still need power and um, ground so your ground is GND and your power is VIN. So it's I believe it's meant for voltage in. So your output for the LCD screen is D11, which is right there on the far left corner. So that is it for the LCD screen. It's pretty straightforward. And I don't have an LCD screen to show you guys where it goes, but uh, I believe there's only one input in the LCD so if not you can uh, respond back and I'll try to find the correct answer for that or if you know the answer you can comment below to help others so let's go to the OLED which what I'm gonna use it's a little bit complicated and I'm gonna give you a moment right now to pause to do your wiring this is your moment all right so let's start with again with ethanol sensor you have your ethanol sensor and then your signal goes and divides into the same it goes 5 volt and then with a 4.7 kilo ohm and then d8 and then this right here splits and goes into <coughs> excuse me your OLED screen which has a VCC and if you look in the back oops uh, it's actually in the front so right here VCC that's where uh, when the signals splits from 4.7 kilo ohm and goes to your screen VCC and then you have your uh, ground and power 
And when you come back to Arduino Nano, the you have the signal. Oops, slippery. You have the signal going in, coming from the ethanol sensor to five volt right there and then you have your ground and you have your voltage in on over here so for the OLED screen you're gonna have the A4 going in here's your try to find right here A4 going into if you follow it goes into SDA oops let's see again which is a far right and then you have A5 which if you follow it goes into SCL and if you look at it it's the second one on the right and then you have the ground which is grounds in so you can use any ground you want you can use the same ground that you would be using for the Arduino Nano so it's pretty straightforward uh, I would highly suggest using soldering iron to do this uh, properly uh, you don't want to split and uh, use a tape or whatever because if the signal is is not coming in strong you might have wrong readings on your gauge so you want to make sure that everything is properly connected using the proper ways so my third video is going to be about uh, installing it and testing it out. Uh, hopefully, like you can see, I have not uh, done the wiring yet. So bear with me. So bear with me. Uh, just wait till the end. So I'm working this with you guys at the same time. And if I'm successful in the part three, uh, that would be great. If not, we'll figure out why I was not and uh, what went wrong and what needs to be uh, overlooked and I will make a follow-up video to help you guys out so this is something uh, electronically I haven't dealt with uh, before hopefully it goes uh, very smoothly and we don't have we don't see any hiccups but like always when you're working on a car uh, nothing is straightforward you always have a problem you always have just one bolt that doesn't want to come out or it's, you need a specialty tool that will make the job 15 minutes instead of uh, you know three hours VW looking at you but yeah so let me know in the comments what you think about my wiring diagram uh, was it helpful if not uh, let me know how I can help uh, make this better I mean help me uh, make this better because I really want you guys to be able to do this by yourself and not have uh, many questions I want this to be as DIY friendly as possible so there you might have a question why are we using 4.7 kilo ohms on the resistor I'm not sure that's something that uh, has been used before I'm just re uh, repeating the steps from other people uh, that have used it and I'll put the link where I found this uh, in the description below and you can use this on any car you don't have to have a fork focus if you're following us through there you can use this on literally any car this this is same this is same this same pigtail is same literally everything is same except your fuel connections so that part uh, you might want to research and find what your fuel connections are and you can go from there so you can make this you can fit this in any car you want so thanks for watching uh, make sure to comment below subscribe if you have not and push the bell button to get all the notifications and share this video with your friends if it's if you think it's helpful or on the forum whatever kudos to all